Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the Relation Guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice and you want to learn more about how to think like a man or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. The link is in the description below, and I'll help you out with any questions, concerns, or anything that you have regarding your dating life in general, okay? All right, so in this video, this video is going to be titled 10 things that women are insecure about that men don't care about or 10 things that women are insecure about that men actually find attractive, right? Okay. All right. So we're going to jump right into this video in this video and it's going to be number one, right? Number one is stretch marks. So you know, a lot of women may have stretch marks. Maybe you have a child, you know, and maybe you had kids and you got stretch marks on your stomach or whatever, on your arms or whatever, you know, and you have stretch marks and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of women are insecure when it comes to their stretch marks. You know, they don't like it because, you know, you know people make fun of it saying like, oh, oatmeal cream pie and, and all these kind of little fun little jokes. But in all actuality, I'm going to just be honest with you, ladies. We... Us men, the male community, we don't care. We don't care. We, we, that's the last thing that we looking at when we look at a woman. We're not looking at your, the texture of your skin. We're looking more so at the shape of you more than the texture of your skin, you know? And half the time, I'm going to be honest with you, half the time we don't even know this. Half the time, you know, there's so many women that are insecure and they pointed out before we even pointed out or we even, we even uh, notice it or we even realize it. We don't even, we don't even go in looking for a girl like, oh, she got stretch marks. She got stretch marks. Oh, 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 no, I can't mess with her. No, it ain't no man on this earth that's going to be like, oh, no, no, no. She got stretch marks. I'm never going to have sex with her. I'm never going to be attracted to her. I'm never going to, you know. Now, now, if that is a man that's out there like that's like that, then you don't, need to, you don't need to be with him no way. He don't deserve you no way. But majority of men, 90% of men, 99% of men don't care. And we didn't even notice any stretch marks. We don't care about none of that. Like, we're looking more so at the shape of you. And we're looking at more so, like, what you look like, what you're wearing, you know, stuff like that. You know, and, and just, like, you know, how well put together you are, you know, as far as, like, your hygiene, your hair, stuff like that. We're not looking at you know, your stretch marks or we're not trying to look at like, you know, the texture of your skin and stuff like that. You know, we don't really care, you know? So that's one thing. Ladies, we don't care, okay? Number two. Number two is deep voices, right? Now, a lot of women might be like, oh, you know, I have a deep voice. I sound like a man, you know, da, da, da. You don't sound like a man. You do not sound like a man. It, it is women that have, you know, maybe raspier voices than others, but you do not sound like a man. You don't, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't. You still sound like a woman. We still can tell you a woman on the phone. If we hear your voice, we know that you're a woman. You know, we don't care. We're not tripping over your voice. Ain't no man, but like, damn, her voice deep as hell. You know, we not tripping over that, bro. We not, we don't even pay attention to that. We not, y'all, keep in mind, ladies, y'all put more emphasis on things than we do. We don't care about a lot of this stuff. We, men don't look at stuff like that or, or, or even trip over stuff like that. Like a lot of stuff that y'all trip over, we don't care. We don't even notice. We don't even trip off of it, you know? So deep voices, you don't sound like a man. We don't care. You sound perfectly fine just the way your voice is, you know? Of course, every every everybody in this world has, you know, different pitches of voices, you know? You might have a high voice. You might have a lower, a lower raspier voice, whatever. But you, if you're a woman, you know, your, your voice is going to sound like a woman, you know, anyways, to a man. A man can tell if you sound like a woman, and he knows that you're a woman. You know, he can tell. You still sound like a woman. It doesn't matter. Okay? Number three. Number three is small breasts. You know? So, a lot of times, you know, if your breasts are tiny or small or, you know, whatever, then, you know, it's a lot of women that may be insecure when it comes to that because there's so many, you know, I guess, like, like emphasis on women having big breasts and, and whoop-de-whoop and having have this perfect body and stuff like that. You know, it's a lot of men that do not care about your chest being smaller or more petite than other women. You know, you don't need big old milk jugs hanging out for a man to appreciate you. You know, it, it, you know and it is a lot of benefits that come with, you know, smaller 
a smaller chest, you know, smaller breasts, you know, it's a lot of benefits. Like you don't have to wear no bra, you know, they sit up right, you know, they, they, they cute to look at, you know what I'm saying? It's like, damn, you know, they sitting up nice. You know, she just, you know, the women, women that have, that have smaller chests and, and like smaller breasts, you know, they, they're the most freest women in the world. They don't got to wear no bra. They just free, full of life. They just don't care. Like, you know, it, it's like certain, certain things you can get away with wearing and stuff. You know, it's a lot, a lot of women, they can get away with wearing certain, certain bras and certain things because, you know, their chest not, is not huge and busting up the, you know, and stuff like that. So if you have small breasts, then that is okay. And keep in mind, keep in mind, men, we don't care. We don't care. He still, he still gonna find you attractive. He still gonna suck on him. He still gonna feel on him. He don't care. He gonna, a, a real man gonna make him feel like they big, you know? And then, so that's that, right? And then it comes down to that man's preference. Like some men actually prefer smaller chests. Some men don't really care, you know? Some men not tripping over it, you know? It's a lot of men, men a lot of men are gonna take you how you are, just perfectly how you are. They don't care about if it's big, if it's small, if it's medium size, you know? It, whatever that man likes, that's what he likes, you know? And a lot of men, we're not tripping over there. We're not tripping over there, you know? We don't care, okay? So, number four. Number four is a small booty, like a little butt. So, same thing. If you got a small butt, little booty, whatever, you know, Little booties are cute and they cool and they fun. And, and like I said, if a man loves you and, and really wants to be with you, he gon' he don't it don't matter. He gonna grab that thing and he gonna lift it up and he gonna move it and he gonna say, you know what? And then you gonna be like, dang, okay. And then guess what? He gonna make it feel big. He gonna make it feel big. He gonna grab on it. He gonna feel on you. You know what I'm saying? Because you his girl. He not tripping over that. That is a little small, little you know, kind of little. You know, you got a little bump, and it's like you know, petite and stuff like that. It's it's cool. We not tripping. It's cool because he like you for you. You know what I'm saying? A man gonna like you for you. You know? So you know, there's certain men that like thick girls. It's it's a lot of men that like slimmer girls. You know? It don't matter. You know? It's it's a man for you. It's men that like that. It's a lot of men that like that like slimmer girls you know it's a lot of men that like more petite women you know so don't be alarmed or don't feel discouraged that you're not just busting out the seams and you just walking around with a with a with a donkey or a wagon hanging out behind you or you just got big old milk jugs just busting out the bra and stuff like that like it's okay it's okay it's plenty of men that find that just as attractive it trust me it's plenty of men and some men and some men don't even want all that. It's a lot of men that like more slimmer women, and that's that's their type. You know, that's what they like. You know, it's some men that like slimmer women. You know, and some men that like you know thicker women. So it just depends on that man's preference. You know, so that's that. Okay, so don't worry about your body and stuff like that because this is going to be a man for you. Okay, so number five, number five is having a small pudge or a small belly. You know. So if you got like a small little belly, you know, or like a little pudge, you know, on your stomach, we're not tripping. We don't care. We don't, we're not tripping. You know, we're not even looking. We Half the time, men not even tripping over the fact that you got a little bit, a, a small little bit of belly fat, a barely enough that you could pitch. Half the time, women, half the time, ladies, y'all, y'all be over exaggerating. I'm gonna just be real with you. It be all in y'all head. A lot of times y'all be over exaggerating. It don't even like like your like your stomach don't even be as 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 big as you may as you may think it is. It's not because us men we're not even looking at that. We're not even tripping over that. We're not like oh she got a belly. Oh I'm not gonna mess with her. She has a belly. Like we're not tripping over that. You know we like I said we're looking more so at the shape of you. We're looking more so at like at just like the overall. Men are more overall instead of more detail. Women are more detail when it comes to you know poking at this 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 all these details about yourself. You know men are just overall just visual just like this. Like we just see the outside and that's it. You know what I'm saying we just looking at just that just the surface. We're not going all the way in depth looking in everything. We're just looking at really more so the surface of it. So we don't really care if you have a little belly. It's fine. We don't care. You know, it's fine. You know, we're not tripping over the fact that it's a little bitty pudge. It's small. It's not even big. And even if it is, okay, medium size. If let's just say, let's just say it's a little, it's a little pudge. You know, it's a little, it's a little more pudgier. We still not tripping. We're not looking at that. We're a man not gonna have sex with your stomach. 
Okay? <laughs> Ain't no man finna have sex with your stomach. He not tripping over your stomach. You know? He looking more so at other things. He look, He might be looking at your booty. He might be looking at your breasts. He might be looking at your face. He looking at other things other than your stomach. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, you know, some men, you know, they, they might care about that. They might want, you know, a more, a more quote-unquote fit woman or whatever. But once again, that comes to preferences. But guess what? Most men don't care. Most men gonna take you how you are or still have sex with you or still want to be with you or still, you know, find you attractive either way it go, belly or not. We don't care. We not tripping. We don't care. Okay? Uh, Number six. Number six is big foreheads, right? So when it comes to women, you know, a lot of women, they might be insecure. They might be like, damn, I got a big forehead. You know, I got a five head. You know, my forehead's so big. Bruh, we don't care. We don't care. Like, big foreheads are cute. Big foreheads, they make you you. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, your your a lot of times it fits your face. You know, a lot of times it just fits with your how your face looks. You know, because you don't want no 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 small forehead when it's on top of your eyebrows right here or something. You know, so it's like you know we don't care. We're not really tripping over that. A man still gonna talk to you. He'll still find you attractive. He'll still have sex with you, whether you have a big forehead or not. We don't care. We don't care. We're not tripping over that. We not tripping over that he might tease you he might poke fun at you but it's out of love ladies it's out of love like we don't care that much we're not gonna be like oh she has a big forehead i'm never talking to her i'm never gonna have sex with her i oh no oh no come on man we don't care we don't care we don't care y'all care more about that stuff than we do okay number seven number seven is not wearing makeup now when it comes to that, you know, a lot of women, you know, they may be insecure when it comes to, you know, not wearing makeup and just being natural. You know, it's a lot of women that, you know, they can't even go to the grocery store without putting or or the corner store or they can't even just walk out their house at all, period, without they having a full glam, a, whole, a full MUA all over their face, you know, or, you know, just anything, you know, like that. So it's a lot of women that may feel insecure, like, dang, you know, I need to cover up my blemishes, I need to cover up my pimples or any dark spots, or you know, they just they 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 just insecure when it comes to that, and they just have to have makeup. They it's some women that cannot go outside without makeup, right? Ladies, men, we do not care. If you a lot of times you need to let that man see what you look like, and a lot of men appreciate a natural woman anyways. We still appreciate you. Every pimple, every little dark spot, we don't care. We don't care. We're not, we don't expect you to be perfect. This is what, this is what I feel like. I feel like it's so much pressure on women to be perfect. And we understand that, that y'all don't have to be, y'all are not perfect. We're not perfect either. So, you know, I hate how society views women and, and places women on this, on this standard where they have to be perfect. You know, you have to have the, 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 the perfect body. They have to have, you know, the perfect, the perfect face, the perfect hair, the perfect this, the perfect nails, the perfect this. Everything has to be on point. But it's like we still appreciate a natural woman when you wake up in the morning without everything and we can see the real you. You know, it's men that appreciate women just the way God made you. We don't care about all that stuff. And that's why you may say, you know, oh, you know. You may hear about a lot of men that may say, I would rather have you natural or I would rather see you without makeup or, you know, stuff like that. Or you need to take that off. I just want to see you because he just wants to see your face. He just wants to see what the real you is, you know, outside of all that, you know. Now, I'm not dissing any woman that does wear makeup, you know. It's, it's not a diss to any woman that does wear makeup. If that if you wear makeup and it makes you feel good and you like wearing makeup, that's cool. We don't, we, again, we don't care either way. But... For those women that feel like they have to, have to, have to have makeup to in order to be attractive to a man, I'm going to just tell you this. We don't care. We don't care. You could be natural and a man still going to love you. You know, bare face and all. We still going to love you. Bonnet, bonnet and everything on. We don't care. We're, we're not tripping. We're still going to appreciate you. We're still going to find you attractive. And, and even if you do have on makeup and it just enhances what you already have, which it should, you know, then then that's when, you know, it, it still doesn't matter, you know. But every once in a while, you know, it's, it's a lot of men that still, you know, care and still want to see, you know, your natural face just to see like what you look like, you know, outside of everything, you know. Like, like he like he just wants to see the real you sometimes, you know, and and it's not it's not it's not in a derogatory way or it's not to like say like, oh, you know whatever but you know he just wants to see the real you 
Okay, so that's that. So whether you wear makeup, whether you don't wear makeup, you know, he just appreciates either or. But you know, but you know, you don't, you as a woman, you know, you should not feel insecure when it comes to, you know, not wearing makeup. If you want to wear your natural face sometimes, it's okay. It's okay. Blemishes and all, we don't care. You're beautiful the way God made you, okay? All right. So number eight, number eight is thick thighs or thick thighs that touch you know and rub together and stuff like that now if you are a thicker woman and let's say your thighs touch and your thighs rub together and you know stuff like that you have really thick thighs and you like wow my thighs are really big and you know they they rub and you know and stuff like that i i ain't never heard of no man complaining about a thick woman <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you men do not Trip over a woman being thick or her legs rubbing together or her thighs being too big or, oh, she got big thighs. We like that. We like that, too. We like that, too. Whether you got big thighs, thick thighs, whether you have small and slim thighs, we don't care. As long as it fits your body and you look good, you look good. We don't care. We don't care as long as it fits your body. It, we don't care. So we're not tripping over, oh, oh, they, oh, oh, her thighs touch. Oh, her thighs touch together. Oh, oh, no, I can't mess with her. We don't care. We don't care. Or if your thighs are, are big or whatever, we don't care. We, we, we actually prefer, we actually, some men actually prefer that, you know, and some men prefer women that are slimmer, you know, so it, so it goes down to the men's preference, you know, again. So that's that. We don't care. Okay. Number nine. Number nine is your smile right now a lot of women you know like when they laugh you know they want to <laughs> you know cover their mouth and or you know or stuff like that but it's like we don't care like if you have a gap you know it's going to be a man that does not care that you have a gap if you have braces it doesn't matter a man still going to talk to you still going to like you still want to have sex with you still find you attractive he does not care that you have braces, you know, it doesn't matter, you know, or even if make, let's say your teeth are a little crooked or your teeth are not as straight as they could possibly be perfect and stuff. We still understand that you are not perfect and that's okay. We not tripping. Like we don't care. Like smile, like men love to see you smile. It, it, it just shows that you have an inviting um, demeanor when it comes to you and an, an inviting vibe when it comes to you and it makes us more attracted to you that you smile and you look more pleasant to be around so we like it when you smile show your gap off you know show your teeth off you know show your braces show whatever you got going just smile we don't care you know what i'm saying just smile you know you don't gotta be insecure about your smile we love women that smile you know so you know we just like that so we don't care again all right number 10 last one y'all number 10 Number 10 is your height, okay? Now, a lot of women, they might be insecure about their height, you know? It may be women that are on the taller side. It may be women that's on the shorter side, right? So, when it comes to that, let's say you're a taller woman, right? And let's say, you know, if you're a taller woman and you come across, maybe you come across men that are shorter than you, okay? It might be men that are shorter than you. And you might be like, dang, you know, I feel insecure because all the men that, that are attracted to me are men that I kind of find attractive or that I'm compatible with or are shorter than me, right? But keep in mind, ladies, men, we don't care. We don't care. It don't, it don't matter. If a man, if a man is secure within his masculinity, then he will not care that you are a little bit taller than him. It doesn't matter because he going to climb that tree. He don't care. He going to climb. He going to be like, okay, all right. I see what you're working with. All right, he gonna climb that tree. He gonna get to you. Look, look, you look like look, you look like Meg The Stallion to him. You look like the Amazon woman to him. Like he like, ooh, wait, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get to that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it is, you know. So it's like, you know, we we don't care. We don't care. You know, the only men that care are the, are those insecure men and stuff like that. But but real men that's confident within the masculinity. If you're taller than him, we don't care. We're not tripping. You know what I'm saying? So that's that. Or Flip side, if you're a little shorter than, you know, the average woman, you know, let's say you're like, let's say you're like 4'11", you know, 4'10". Let's say you're real short, you know what I'm saying? Quote, unquote, real short, you know what I'm saying? Okay, or you're five foot or five one or something like that, right? And you're, and you're considered on the shorter side, right? We still don't care. We still don't care. 
And a lot of men might still find that cute because it's like, you know, maybe that might make him feel good because it's like, oh, you know, like, like, you know, now, now that, that boosts his masculinity a little bit because it's like, I'm with this woman that, you know, you know, maybe she's a little smaller than me. And, you know, now, you know, you may feel like the man when he hugged you, he can hover over you. Let's just say, let's just say he's not even the tallest man, you know, he might not even be real, real, real tall. He might be five foot, whatever, but you're shorter than him. So it's like, okay, you know, he gonna rock with you, you know, or let's just say you're short, you're shorter. And let's just say he's six foot five, you know, let's say you're five foot even and he's six five. He still don't find you attractive, you know? So it just comes down to that man's preference. It doesn't matter whether you're short, whether you're tall, whether you're skinny, whether you're thick. It does not matter. We don't care. It's going to be a man for you. And men will like what they like. It depends on that man's preference, ladies. So stop trying to be perfect and stop trying to, you know, you're keep in mind, you're you can never be, it's never one size fits all with, with when it comes to women. You know, in men's preferences, it's going to be a man that's not going to like you for whatever reason. If you're thick, it's going to be a man that don't like thick girls. But guess what? He's not the man for you. If you're slimmer, it's going to be a man that don't like slim girls. He like thick girls. You know, that's that's OK. If you're taller, he might be a man that likes shorter women. That's on him. You know, that's OK. And that's not the man for you. It might be a man that like, you know, whatever. It does not matter. It all comes down to that man's preference. And it's going to be a man for you. And the right man for you will accept you and everything that comes with you because he loves you and he wants to be with you. He does not care about if you have a little belly. He don't care if you got a big forehead. He don't care if your chest is small, big, or if you got a big booty or you got a small booty. He don't care. As long as whatever works for you, as long as it fits you, it, it works out for you and it works out for us and we cool. And, we, and, and some man is going to find you attractive. You're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. Not everybody's going to like you. And that's okay. It, it comes down to preferences. You know, so your insecurities should not be based on male's preferences. Your, you know, you should base you should base yourself on how you are, who you are, and whatever works for you and how and the way that God made you. You're beautiful the way God made you. And it's going to be a man that views you beautiful the way God made you, okay? And he's not going to care all the stuff that you care about. Oh, I got stretch marks or all oh, this or all oh, that. Or oh, my voice is a little deeper than us. We don't care. We're not tripping up. We're not even thinking about that. Y'all y'all women be creating all kinds of crazy stuff in y'all head that we don't care about. We're not tripping over. We don't even look at that stuff. We don't even think. That stuff doesn't even cross our mind half the time. We don't even know this half the time. Y'all put more emphasis on that. Y'all trip over that stuff more than we do. A man, a man don't trip over that. You know, a man not gonna trip over that. You know, now there are men that are real picky and that, oh my, my girl gotta be this, 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 this. There are men that's like that. But guess what? Let let that man go find those women. You know, and then it's gonna be a man that's gonna accept you the way you are. It's gonna think that you're the most beautiful woman in the world just the way you are. You know, he don't care that you don't look like a, a, a Instagram model or whatever. He don't care. He like you for you. He like you just the way you are. He don't care. So real men not going to care. So ladies, do not be insecure for the way that you are because it's going to be a man that's for you. And a lot of things that you care about, we don't care about. A lot. I promise you, we don't care. We really don't care. I cannot stress that enough. We don't care. We don't care. We're not looking at none of that stuff. We don't care. So, ladies, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'm out. So, to the next video.